Hi, this is Tweak. Let's make some gingerbread men. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are, it's a simple one, you'll need lots of cardboard, some foam for padding, if you wish to use it, notions, laces, ribbons, pom-poms, buttons, things to decorate your gingerbread man with. Let's get started. I wanted to make some gingerbread men, but I wanted to make it using materials I had kicking around the house, and I've got a lot of cardboard. So for this project, you will need cardboard and glue as the mainstay to hold these little guys together. Then it's up to you to gather ribbon and notions, pom-poms, buttons, to decorate your gingerbread man. So what I did first was I came up with a pattern. Just drew out a little gingerbread shape but I couldn't decide the size. So I made several patterns. So we got a little teeny guy. He could probably be an ornament. A bigger guy here. A bigger guy, oh my goodness. And then the granddaddy gingerbread man. He's very, very cute. Takes a little more time to make him. But here's what I did. Once I had my pattern, let's put you over here, little guy. And we're gonna focus on this size here. The thickness of your gingerbread man depends on the ribbon. So what I did was I found a ribbon I really liked, and I like the width of this. What I'm gonna do is buddy up some of these pieces of cardboard that they're all the same shape, and I'm going to kind of rough measure how I think that ribbon's gonna go along the edge. And this is perfect. So for this size ribbon, I'm gonna go all the way around. There are one, two, three, four, five little cutouts of my gingerbread man, okay? So first thing I need to do is put these guys together with some hot glue. So I've got my five little guys lined up and I'm going to put them over the side. I'm gonna take the bottom one, no writing, a little spot there, but we'll take care of that with the notions. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun. I'm going to use quite a lot of glue for this project. So get some of the sticks ready. And we're just going to go around. Don't need a lot, just enough that the pieces will stick to each other. And taking the next guy, I'm going to lay him down. Buddy up the best I can. And then if I have to trim a little, I will. So I'm going to trim just a little bit around his arm. I want, when the ribbon gets laid on the side, I just want it to lay flat. The head looks good. If there's little gaps smaller there, I think that's okay. Because the other pieces will help hold it in place. Get a little bit on the leg here. Since I'm cutting these pieces all out myself, there's a little bit of irregularity in there, but not much. Okay. Make his head a little rounder. Okay, next. So I'm going to just layer these up like a cardboard sandwich. Here we go. Before I add the last one, I'm going to make sure that my ribbon, because I'm adding glue between each level and I don't want, to, want my ribbon to be too small. So I am going to stop as I added the glue that made him a little bit thicker. And to me, right here is the perfect thickness that I want for my guy. So if we've got an extra pattern there. Let's take any marks we see off, because I'm not going to paint this. It's going to be the board is going to be the color of our gingerbread man. Now I'm just going to make sure that I got it lined up. It's a little bit off right in there. I'm going to trim just a little bit back. And that way the ribbon will sit better. You can't really go wrong with your gingerbread shape because it's pretty basic. A head, two arms, and two legs. That looks pretty good to me. Next step. We're going to outline him with ribbon. So I've got my ribbon here. I got all my ribbons in the reduced rack. So that was nice. And I'm gonna start down here. 
the leg area. So I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to take a little tiny bit of glue, just to see that frayed edge there. I'm just going to fold that in on itself and be careful because the glue is hot. I just want a clean edge. Because this ribbon has an etching thread, I want to just cut those off, just straighten that up a little bit, neaten it up. I've got my ribbon ready to go here. And I'm going to start inside the leg. I'm just going to lay down some glue and let the ribbon rest along the edge. Okay? I'm kind of working a little bit of the glue on the actually outer edge, which will help hold the ribbon. Okay, that side I just put clean and come up inside the leg. And here's where your scissors come in handy. So if you want to avoid being burned because the glue is hot, I'm just going to use the scissors to tuck this in. And see how simple it's already attached. Now I'm just going to go around his body, lay down the glue, and lay the ribbon gently. The only thing you got to be careful of here is the hot of the glue. You've got a little bit of wiggle room you can pull up if you want to reposition. I'm just following the contour of the cardboard. He already looks like he's being iced, doesn't he? If he's a little bumpy on the edges, that's okay. I don't know of a cookie that's not bumpy. <laughs> Just trying to keep it straight, see as you go. I'm going to make a little tiny cut. Tuck the rest of that in. Now how to decorate him. You could, before you edge around, run the ribbon around each little arm, but I'm going to do a simpler way of doing that. I'm going to do a simpler method. I'm just going to take the colors of ribbons that I like to make the icing. I really like that look there. I want a little more sparkle and add some fancy ribbon here. So I think what I'm going to do is cut the little pieces for his arms and legs. So let's do that. All you do here is just measure, give a cut, and we're just going to lay that in each little leg and each little arm. You can go as elaborate as you want on these guys. How much icing do you want on your gingerbread man? I like the looks of that so far. This is so, so simple. So I wanted more though. I wanted a little more. So what I'm going to do is pull this off the leg. I'm going to measure the piece of red that goes with. Give it a snip. Glue those pieces together. I'll glue this down. Lay it in. Is that what I want? That's what I'm going with. Got my piece. And then you can just tuck in that little edge. Tuck it into the threads on your ribbon. Let's try it the other way. This time, I'm going to lay this down first, see which way works better. Just amazing how a little bit of sparkle brightens him up like that. Now, because he's going to be a two-sided I'm going to flip them over and do the same to the other side.
Oh my goodness, see, he's looking more and more delicious. I'll pull off the ghoul strips now, time. Let's see what we've got so far? Let's add buttons and a face. So if I want to do googly eyes, let's see. Googly eyes. Now these happen to be have a green tinge to them, but I don't really mind that. So we're going to set up eyes and mouth. Right now I'm more concerned about the buttons. And this might sound silly, but I have this lace left over from Spring Project. Here it is. And I thought, oh my gosh, if I put that there with a pom-pom, that looks just like a little bit of frosting. That's going to work. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add, cut three of these little daisies. You can use buttons. You can use any kind of acrylic. See, you could have something sparkly on them. You could use buttons. So I'm going for what I had kicking around. And since it's two-sided, I need... If it's three buttons, I need six. Let's do this side first. You know, when you go to decorate cookies, you kind of eyeball, you don't measure, and that's part of the charm. They're all delicious in the end. Well, that looks a little springtimey to me, so it's the pom-poms that turn it back towards Christmas time. Isn't that funny how you just cover up with a little dab of glue, add a little spot of red, and that looks like Every bit of something you'd put on a gingerbread man. Done. Do I want to go with the green googly eyes? I think we will. We'll go with the green googly eyes. We've got some bigger eyes too, but I think that would be too big. So let's go with the little green ones. Okay. I shake the eye down a little bit. So the little piece in there that moves is going to stay down. You decide how far apart you want his eyeballs to be. <laughs> I'm putting mine kind of close. Okay. Now we need a little teeny smile. And that means fabric. Ordinarily I'd go with scraps. But this is my sticky fabric. My go-to fabric. Love this stuff. And I'm just going to make a little, little smile. I've got a happy gingerbread man here. Mm -hmm. It could be any expression you want. I don't think he minds. He's not going to be the kind that gets eaten, so he probably is happier. I'm going to run with that. And then I want cheeks. Got to have some cheeks. Fold it in half and I'm cutting out two circles for cheeks. This project is fun for kids. Oh my goodness. Easy. And look at that. See how just a couple little dots of color. And you've got cheeks. <laughs> okay. Lots of cuteness going on here. Now let's look at our other ones. What else should we do? Well, let's flip them over and do the other side. We've got a two sided gingerbread man. side. Okay. 
And there you have it. We've made our own little gingerbread man. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, fire up your oven, no need. What size gingerbread man do you want? You decide. As you can see, there's a lot of ways to bring these guys into your holiday season. See you again. Thank you.